There are significant changes occurring in coal and mining and uh, the coal and mining part of the business in 2018. As of the end of March this year, we'll no longer have power purchase agreements in place on Sundance units three to six. From the 1st of April this year, uh, we'll be in a situation where those plants will only make money in the merchant market when they run, when they operate and when they produce megawatt hours. It's important for the workforce at this mine uh, to continue to be as efficient as we can, to drive costs as low as we can, uh, and allow uh, TransAlta to continue to, to operate these plants as long as we can. It's a change for TransAlta, it's a company that's been around for a long time, and the mine has a big part to play in that right now, and we need to continue to, uh, to provide that low-cost fuel to the plant to work through uh, transformational uh, change into gas and into clean energy. Uh, so we're responsible for the, uh, the coal mining and providing the fuel to the power plant. Yeah, so we start off, uh, we remove topsoil off the land and we store that for further reclamation uh, down the line. And then we return land to uh, as good or better uh, landforms than when we started mining. Uh, and then what we do is we remove the subsoil uh, material down to uh, the drag line bench. And we do that with a large truck shovel fleet. And then the drag line uh, comes behind and it takes uh, the rest of the rock all the way down to coal. And then we load out the coal and we haul the coal to the power plants. So high quality coal, uh, the higher value heating value that we can provide the plant, the better the plant operates. Uh, so on our aspect, one of the things we're responsible for is trying to clean the coal as best as we can. So when the coal is dirty, uh, the coal has contaminants in it, the heating value goes down at the plant, the plant has a harder time burning it, and we don't produce as much electricity for the same amount of tons of coal. We have a bunch of different processes for cleaning the coal. Basically, the first process is the drag line takes the overburden off the coal. The importance of having the efficient machines is for the, the cleanliness and the cost-effective delivery of the coal to the power plants. It's all about the most BTUs they can get out of this product and to be the cleanest possible and cost-efficient uh, fuel for the power plant. There's lots of pride in the workmanship here. Everybody's here to try and make this coal mine last, right? It's a lot of livelihoods for a lot of people. So at Sundance, we take the chemical energy in coal and we convert it into electrical energy for transmission to the Alberta grid, uh, to which our commercial, residential, and industrial uh, consumers are connected. Coal from the mine is delivered through conveyor belts to storage silos inside the Sundance plant. The coal is drawn from the silos and is ground into powder, so the powdered coal is then blown into the boiler furnace where it is burned to release the chemical energy as intense heat. The energy is absorbed from the furnace by water in tubes surrounding the furnace. This intense heat boils the water into steam. The high pressure and temperature steam is piped to the steam turbine which expands the steam through a system of blades which spins the turbine and converts most of the heat energy in the steam into mechanical energy. The remaining low pressure steam is converted to liquid water in the condenser and is returned to the boiler to complete the water steam cycle. The spinning turbine is connected to a generator rotor. The mechanical energy in the spinning rotor is converted into electricity in the generator. This electric energy flows to a transformer which increases the electrical voltage to a very high level. The very high voltage allows for efficient transfer of the electricity to our consumers. The very existence in the future of these plants is, is really what's at stake. And if we, if we can't adapt to the new environment that we find ourselves in, and if we can't become more competitive, then uh, you know, these plants won't be profitable and, and we'll, have to, you know, we'll have to make some, some different decisions than what we've made. I believe that the people that we have within the business can, can rise to meet the challenges that we're facing. I have no doubt at all that we've got the people we need to come up with the ways to make us more competitive and to keep us operating facilities like these.